Yeah, we're good. Oh, this is super cool. Hey! I'm glad the weather is warming up a teeny bit, but this is the last cold day of the year. Hopefully. It does always snow in April, which may be tonight. What day is it today? April Fool's. April Fool's Day. It is a nice high pressure zone, cloudless blue sky. Ooh, the sun calm. is nice. What do we have here, my son? Well, I'm glad you asked, and maybe you can answer your own question because Ask I forgot. <laughs> we uh, got our classic homemade bread made by, made by yours truly, my dad. <laughs> uh, last night, actually. This is very fresh. Very fresh bread. Sunflower butter. Sunflower butter. And what's the jelly of the week? Gooseberry. We got the gooseberry again. Okay, winner, winner, gooseberry. <laughs> we do have a surprise for the second hike. That'd be pretty fun. And we've got our water bottles from the Morton Arboretum hike from last week. Yes, definitely our our new hiking bottles. They securely close and they hold a good amount of water. Well, they're also tall and skinny, so they fit into the pockets nicely. Mm. So, I do like it. And we color coordinated, so we don't get confused. Plus, it supports the Morton Arboretum. Someday this will all be green. Maybe someday by the end of the month. <laughs> it happens fast. What is a gooseberry? I went over this. I forgot? It's a yellow berry. Okay. And that's about as much as I know. <laughs> I've had it before from Jerry's supermarket. The gooseberries. Yeah. They taste weird. They taste they taste good, but I would not get them on the regular. And you're talking about it when it's a fruit, yeah. not when it's a jam. Right. And I probably wouldn't get the jam on the regular either. But it was something I had to try because I've had the gooseberry fruit. I think it's supposed to be like a Christmas type of fruit or some holiday type of fruit. Yeah, I can see that because all, all the fruit trees in the northern hemisphere bloom around Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That winter equinox is really a popular bloom time. <laughs> Brings out the best in the plants. Mm -hmm. But if you jarred it and jellied it, then you could do that during the regular season and save it till Christmas. I can see that. What if you pickle it? You can pickle it. I love the stuff we've done and just. The nature hikes along with like the, the food, you know, we're dehydrating and pickling and you know a hundred years ago that was that was it. You know, a hundred to you know infinity ago. That was it. That was how you did it. That was the only choice you had. Preserve it. Yeah, we didn't have refrigerators. Unless you lived in you know, near glaciers and you could store it in ice. Permafrost. Flash freeze. <laughs> we picked a spot where you could hear frogs. That's our new thing.
precise that they came back. They quieted down when we first walked by. You're right. Now we fit into nature. We're just big ugly deer as far as the frogs are concerned. Do you think the deer think that we're small ugly frogs? Or big coyotes. Mm, big ugly coyotes. It's gotta get the ugly part in there. Yeah, hey, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> We have no tail, no feathers. Pigs. I mean, I think Walking other pigs. animals look at us the same way we look at like a, you know, a buzzard or a, those bald, hairless cats and dogs. <laughs> bald, hairless cats and dogs. No, we're done. <laughs> I have been told that horses. Passing a horse on the trail, if you have a backpack on, the horse will often mistake you as like a bear. So don't walk casually past horses with backpacks on. Come to the side and let them understand that you're not hostile. That would be one of the craziest nature fights ever to take place. A bear versus a horse. A bear versus a horse. <laughs> Well, I would like to see had, what the happens. The Simpsons had like a shark versus an elephant or something <laughs> stupid like that, or a crocodile versus an elephant. This, uh, the nature thing that we follow on Instagram, that is just crazy nuts. Yeah, we follow a page on Instagram, it's called The Dark Side of Nature, and it posts like animal fights and just like gruesome nature encounters. Like, for example, one was like a deer trying to jump across a road and it just face planted, broke its neck and died. Oh, God. Uh, I saw one yesterday of one crocodile doing what's called the death roll on the other crocodile. Yeah, I saw that. So it takes a bite of the... It takes a hold of the other crocodile by the tail and starts rolling and... If the other crocodile doesn't keep up with its roll, it's gonna get its tail ripped off. Well, that's how, you know, the roll is how they kill. After they grab you and take you under, they'll roll you. And then they put you under a log or something underwater, and let you tenderize a little bit. Crocodiles tend to win, unless it's against a, a lion for some reason, like lions and leopards. <clears throat> right. We've seen a lot of videos of them going after and winning a fight with a croc. Yeah, I guess the leopard just and jaguars just know where in their necks, in the crocodile's necks, that they can... That's a dangerous prey. You know, you're, you're going to win, <laughs> win or you're going to lose. Like, I don't see a lot of... I don't know. Stay, stick with the zebras. Yeah, stick with the zebras. The zebra's not going to hurt you. Although I did see a zebra kicking a tiger in the face. <laughs> oh, I saw another one. <laughs> so we're talking about social media on the camera. <laughs> there was a woman and it was a horse that was on the ground and I think it had just given birth. And like the woman went over to like pat it and the hind leg just clocked her. Yeah, it was a she cow. Was, she was out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was messed oh. up. Anyway. Good old hoof to the face. Yeah. Oh, we're done with lunch. <laughs>